Hey guys, Thomas here with Topo Toppers. Uh, we got some exciting news. We have moved to a much larger space. Uh, we're only a few blocks away from where we were before. If you've come and visited, we're not far away from there. Uh, we got a new building, standalone building, fenced yard, um, awesome space, uh, plenty of room to kind of get some breathing room. And for those who have been by our old shop, they know it gets cramped. You know, we were, you know, last year and up until now doing about five campers a week. Uh, and that was definitely crammed in that space. So we've got this new building. We're gonna take you on a little walk around, show you kind of um, our processes, things like that. Uh, there's a lot of work we have left to do in making carts and getting organized and, and uh, it'll be a continuous uh, work in progress. But we'll walk around to the back and kind of take you through the building. So first thing, this is our one roll-up door right here. This is our install door. So this is where the trucks come in and out of for install. And we'll show you the area that they're getting installed on in a minute. And then this door here is for our assembly parts, pre-powder and post-powder coming in and out. Um, this is the yard. We've got an area we're gonna build out for pallet making so we can get more of these shipped out. We've got right now this uh, structure over here is where we're doing all of our grinding and polishing of our welded parts. Um, and we're hoping to actually build a new one around the back because we're adding another grinder and polisher to the team um, and you know, make it a little easier, get some lighting in there for those early mornings. You know, I just want to reiterate, we've kind of constantly been on this quest to make more and more of this stuff in house down to our hinges that we use on our campers, obviously the campers themselves. We're adding some more processes we're pretty excited about, but not ready quite to share. Now we'll kind of follow the way the material would move. And it might get a little loud, so bear with us. So coming in this room, this is where our raw material enters. We use primarily sheet metal aluminum. Uh, this is our, fi our fiber laser cutter here. Everything gets cut here. Here's some parts. Some parts stacked against the wall here uh, in their flat cut um, uh, status. And then after they get cut, they come in. This is our press break. We had this, both of these machines at our old shop. Um, and this press break is where we do all the bending um, of all of our parts. Once the parts are bended, they will come in here. We have these bays set up and this is where um, we basically put full camper kits in here. So everything that goes into a camper that gets welded gets put in these bays. Yesterday was looking pretty full. Paul's been hauling through it, uh, but we got you know plenty of space to kind of keep things organized. Paul, uh, our welder, grabs them, uh, welding over here, and then we'll kind of pass through. Sorry, Paul. Once things get welded, then we grind it. Uh, and polish it. Once it gets ground and polished, it comes into this station. This is where we do the pre-powder coat assembly. So we set things up, check, you know, check all of our stuff, uh, make sure everything's looking like it's got a good fit, um, riveting in any parts that are riveted pre-powder coat. Um, and then after that, heads out the door to powder coat, which is right down the street. And then it comes in and here's where we begin our assembly process. So it starts with, we have a lower and a roof. We get the, the processes done on those. Then they come together. Kevin and Ethan here are putting this roof on, a mesa. And then once the canvas is on and the roof is on, um, which this Badlander is getting its roof put on right now, then it goes over into that section where it gets uh, all the accessories, anything that are, um, that are different with that shell happen there. And then from there, it heads over to either installation or shipping. That camper is getting ready to close up that pallet. We're going to ship it out. Uh, this is the second truck out the door today. Uh, we had a cool Tacoma white camper, white truck that looked really good. Um, now we'll take a look at our kind of inventory setup. So one of the things that we're doing here is just trying to get better at organizing our inventory and tracking our inventory. And we found the best way to sort of manage that is sort of a manual trigger as far as reordering. So what we have here is bins of parts. When that bin runs out, we have another bin with the same quantity and a tag on it. You pull the tag, 
drop it in there, and that, uh, that triggers getting the part ordered. Um, and we're basically just been spending the last couple weeks organizing. We have gaskets, our parts that we make in-house that we're inventorying as well. These are side access doors, mollies, hinge brackets, molly panels. Um, you know, basically everything, uh, you know, will eventually be on this same uh, inventory system. And then um, over here, we're reserving some space for a new piece of machinery that's coming in that we will be sharing about. Um, and then, yeah, Katie right now is doing a walkthrough. Uh, we've got pretty decent office in here. We're actually gonna section some of that off where we're gonna be moving some of our manufacturing process into. That's the space. Uh, super excited to kind of keep you guys updated as we go. It's been a, a fun, uh, it's over three years here and, and things are moving along nicely. Um, and um, yeah, the whole purpose of this space is to be able to build more campers better. You know, we we're, we're just always wanna be improving our process, improving our campers. Um, and uh, yeah, we're extremely excited to be in this space.